Gearbest have sent me the Thelon uh, racing boat, the FT012. Now this is my first ever uh, boat or experience with RC on water. And to be perfectly honest, I thought, how much fun is that gonna be? Gee whiz. And this is actually how much fun I had. Gee whiz, that thing goes. Hey, hey. Whoa. I thought we'd be out here, you know, being a bit bored, really, to be honest, but absolutely no chance with this. So as you can see, absolute blast out on the water. Really impressed. I had so much fun. Uh, to be honest, at the beginning of the review, I thought I'm not, I am not. wouldn't have paid money for this, but actually having gone out with it, I'm totally impressed with it. It is a blast. It's really good fun. Um, it says a top speed of 45 uh, kilometres an hour. Uh, it flips itself back up where you've got a problem. Um, a brushless motor, water cooled. Uh, really smart, uh, nice looking thing. Just wanted to show you the box. Really good carry hand and you can take it out with you. You can keep the whole boat all ready to go in here and take it, lob it in the back of the car, that's what I did, and then you can just go out and have a, have some fun with it. Uh, the uh, run through the battery and everything, you've actually got a three cell, uh, 1800 milliamp hour, and it discharged at 25C, which gives it loads of power. Um, I'm totally impressed with it, to be honest. I was t I'm totally shocked as well. And then uh, the details of the actual boat there. So let's pop it out and see what the actual how well it's actually packaged and it is extremely well packaged as you can see like I say you could just literally pull this out and then your boat's all ready to go all you've got to do obviously is charge the battery so there we have everything out of the box and as you can see, this thing is seriously slick looking. Um, this is after I've been uh, racing it around, to be perfectly honest. It's got a few scratches underneath, as you can uh, see, but I've had a few bashes with it. But I mean, it's a full review, that's the idea. I've been out playing with it. Uh, and it's held up really well. And uh, you'll see the, the footage in a minute of uh, how much fun I had with it, and also uh, the sort of incidents I had with it as well. Uh, it's uh, really smart, as you can see. We're run through all the bits and pieces uh, but before we go any further there's one other thing that came with it and I thought oh, I'm really not interested in this this is uh, they call it for model display and to me I'm like I don't have my quads out on display it's kept in the box and I take them out and fly them that's how well I did but actually when you put this down you've got this uh, the, the actual rudder will hit down and it's obviously going to wind up uh, could possibly damage it and it's a pain to get in and work on and to be honest once you actually pop it on there it's really easy to work on uh, so uh, having sort of looked at this and thought I'm really not, not going to be bothered with it it's actually really good this stand is absolutely superb and it just quickly pulls apart and folds flat to go back in your box for transporting around again let's run through the other stuff you get you get two spare propellers you get a couple of tiny grub screws uh, and I'll show you where they go on the actual prop shaft and you get a little allen key or a hex wrench uh, for actually putting them in and then you've got uh, a little spanner as well uh, and you can basically strip the whole thing down with that. The only thing you don't get is a little Phillips screwdriver and that would be handy for, uh, there is a few Phillips screws on it but um, you know it's just a normal size so it's really not a problem. You get these which are the actual uh, cone protectors, uh, sort of nose protectors sorry, so they just pop on there and you just put, give it a little bit of a shove there and then you, it really does protect it actually. Uh, they're, they're well worth putting on as, I don't know if the camera will pick this up, but this one's really quite scagged. Uh, that's the one I use for the review. So you can see um, they're durable. Uh, you've got a grease here as well. And I'll show you where that goes. That goes on the prop shaft on the coupling there. And uh, the battery itself, let's pop, pop it all apart and then you can have a look. Well, actually you can see how brilliant this little stand is. So pop it on there and then just pop the top bit off. Well, this looks like one of the Thunderbirds to me. And then into the actual, uh, I was gonna say quad, I'm so used to doing quad, into the actual boat itself. And then everything in here is really nicely laid out. Uh, you've got the water cooling system, you've got the brushless motor in there, and uh, you've got your 1800 milliamp hour uh, three cell as well. And it uses a T connector, um, so that's great. Um, because I charged it on my hobby grade charger, which means I can charge it in an hour. If you use the one they supply here, you uh, will, uh, it's gonna take two to three hours because it only puts out uh, 0.8 um, of uh, an amp. So that's 800 milliamp hours. So that, that's gonna take, yeah, two, 
over two hours I would have thought to charge it. So, uh, and you simply just pop it out like that. And the handy thing is, this is very similar to a lot of my uh, quad ones, so I've, I've actually had a, a real real play with those as well. You do get a little bit of water on board, um, inevitable I think with the way this thing goes around and it can actually go submersed. Um, it did do a few times. Uh, so. Uh, to empty the water out when it's all still assembled you just simply pull off this drain cap here invert it and then it all pours out anyway so uh, I didn't have any issues with it I must admit and it's still going really well now the little grub screws as I was saying are just there so there's the two little grub screws so you've got replacement ones just in case you ever strip that uh, or have a, have an issue with it and obviously uh, at, at the back here sorry you've got a grub screw as well and um, so that they're all the same so that's ideal so if you've got any problems with it you can get it sorted sort of thing obviously replace the prop as well and there's a little Little, uh, nylon uh, uh, lock nut sorry sorry here um, so so it can't basically come undone I also put in here a battery alarm a little one like this uh, I've done a full review on these and I'll put a link down in description for you and basically that monitors it and then you set a level that you want it to alarm at now I when I first did it I didn't uh, seal this up in a bag I just literally connected it up put it on there uh, and then gave it a go and to be honest water got into here and it, it alarmed way too early and it was saying that one of the cells was completely dead and it wasn't dried it out in the airing cupboard and it was absolutely fine so uh, what I'd now do is uh, plug it in put it into a little little plastic bag little elastic band around the cables and then it uh, it this doesn't get wet at all and everything else seems to cope well and you can certainly hear it it's really nice and loud onto the transmitter and it's just the same as my car ones really nice and comfortable in the hand you've got your throttle here so this is for forward and that's for reverse and it does do both actually and that's how you flip it back over so if it becomes inverted in the water you basically use the torque of the engine i think of the motor sorry and you just literally flick that a couple of times and it gives it a sort of flips it and then it will flip it right over then you're off and uh, that worked every time flawlessly so really pleased with that you've got the uh, rudder control here same as same as with the rc cars so basically a steering wheel i'm going to pop the transmitter on first of all and then connect up the battery on the boat but you don't need to i've actually tried it both ways several times and it's bound fine quickly every single time and not had any issues with it at all so uh, the rudder is basically that's our control for the rudder uh, and it will turn the boat right and left you don't have to try calculating which way the direction the rudder's going in and uh, I won't bother I'll just give that a slight blip but, but it's really quite noisy um, and, and like I said that's forward and reverse and on to the actual trims that we've got here we've got a, a rudder trim uh, so basically they call it steering trim and what we have to do there is if it's when you actually give it a run obviously straight out on flat calm water with no wind if it starts to go to the right or the left you can alter the trim on it to, to make sure that it always goes straight I had no issues with this at all it's basically dead dead center as it came from the factory and the other thing we've got on this one which is rather nice is the actual uh, you can alter the amount of steering you get so the amount of rates you get with it so if I turn that right the way back uh, and then turn that you get very little amount of steering so uh, can be handy if, you, if you're just starting and then if we turn it all the way up you then get a lot more steering as you can hear there with the servo working so yeah nice little uh, remote they do say it works up to 150 meters to be honest i got nowhere near that i had no way of recovering it if it was if it went out of range but to be honest 150 meters with a boat this size would would be tiny uh, but if you're into that sort of thing then you'd probably be on a proper boat in lake uh, where you could actually recover it <laughs> rather than get weighed or swim right across a lot the only other thing and you don't get these supplied is you need six AA batteries uh, to actually power up the transmitter onto the instruction manual and i've done quite a few of the Thalon uh, quads and they've always been excellent and this is no exception this is really well done uh, nice and clearly laid out uh, 
the call outs are uh, nice and clear and the actual graphics are lovely and nice and simple it's really done well if you're new to RC and a boat was your first thing the, you couldn't really go far wrong with this this explains it all the way through really nicely all in one language as you can see all in English and nice clear sized text as well uh, run through uh, sort of popping the little protector on at the front how to flip the uh, boat back up if, one, if it becomes inverted so no problems at all there and uh, the steering controls and which I've been through on the transmitter and everything and then also you've got just uh, the spare parts and what they're actually called and then where to actually uh, lubricate it so uh, with the grease that they give you uh, basically on these uh, UJ joints there uh, on the prop shaft just where you need to lube so no absolutely oh, excellent so just gonna give it a quick whiz around it's nice and flat calm here but it is really windy out there uh, I've got a couple of small quads I was going to review uh, but to be honest once they get up to a height they would just drag them away so it's boat time I don't know if you're familiar with the lochs in uh, Scotland but oh there goes a little newt I don't know if you can see him <laughs> I actually call that one tiny because he's my newt been a long time non-flying so uh, just like so get in the water because I'm not too sure what you actually do with boats apart from just whiz them around I guess literally this is my first ever go with a boat I've got the steering on the on the, the right and left and then like, whoa <laughs> That's nice. Boy, I'm actually on half the. Uh, that's half throttle. Gee whiz! Gee whiz, that thing goes. Hey! hey. Whoa! I thought we'd be out here, you know, being a bit bored, really, to be honest, but. Absolutely no chance with this. This is awesome. <laughs> hey! Hey, look at this thing go! <laughs> Gee, has it turned so fast? I really didn't think I would have fun out with a boat, to be perfectly honest. This thing is blinking awesome. <laughs> oh, it's, it's like, I'm not trying it backwards. It's, oh, that's more That's more just to turn it over, I think. I don't think that's going to do anything backwards, which is understandable. Yeah. So apparently, if it does go over, you can flick the throttle back and forward, and it will bring it back up to normal. So I'm just trying to get it so it will... Out there go. There we go. Over it goes. That's amazing. But, oh, sorry, it's probably normal for the boat guys, but I think that's pretty amazing. Tell you what, the quads could do that in the air. That would be cool. So there we go. So it's literally forward and back. Just do it a couple of times. And there you go. I'm sure you can do it a lot better than that. Let me just try that again. And it just basically pulses the torque to make it go. There we go. You could actually just do it in one. It's really well done. Yeah, just literally forward on the throttle, uh, sorry, uh, which is basically reverse, uh, and then onto full throttle and off it goes. Like that. You can hear some water rattling about inside, so some's got in. And there's a little drain plug at the back there, there we go. You just lift that up, out of the way, and as you can see, hopefully, Well, that should go even faster now. I don't know if you can hand launch these things. Is that, the, that a term that you use? Well, I suppose it is a hand launch, isn't it? Very much so. Pretty much. Hey, this is quite... quite <laughs> Really so controllable, it's lovely to uh, I think we're running oh yeah we're definitely running low on power. Whoa there we go. Just sit here and have a little flight I think. This is where we are filming today. As you see a lovely spot, really beautiful here.
going to do a little pirouette for you, give you the full uh, Scottish experience. because you don't get any warning with it at all it just goes dead which is fair enough so not a bother so I just set that up and I've done a complete video on the use whoa <laughs> that was completely submerged there boy <laughs> love it hey, it's superb fun this thing Oh, I love it. That is really smooth. Really nice piece of kit. <laughs> I really didn't think I'd enjoy it, but it is actually really good fun. So, just out of interest, just a couple, a couple of minutes run there. Let's just see how much water she's been submerged several times. So, just out of interest. Tiny drop of water inside, so that's pretty good actually. <laughs> beeper going so that's excellent that really does work there we go hopefully you can hear that so in conclusion what do i think of it well i would imagine by now you've probably got the idea that i'm really thrilled they sent it to me it is awesome fun uh, i love the look of it and everything seems thought out they obviously know what they're doing with boats which is probably uh, what i showed i didn't know about boats uh, but it's so easy to to do and such a lot of fun uh, it's so sleek and streamlined when it hits rocks we have a lot of rocks in scotland uh, under the water hit a few of those and it, it's just so slick like i was saying it just literally rubs straight off them um so absolutely no problems whatsoever I did catch these a little bit, they're slightly marked, but really no no damage at all. And I've given this a, a load of batteries through uh, and had an awful lot of fun with it. So yeah, I'm absolutely, you know, double uh, thumbs up and paws up uh, with this one. Absolutely made up with it. Transmitter was really good, never skipped a beat, to be honest. I never took it out that far. I don't expect I even got up to 100 meters, to be honest, uh, because it just wouldn't be the way I'd use it, actually. It would be so small uh, that far out, and it gets up to sort of top speed in a very short distance so you really don't need to sort of keep running it out at that speed and the turns and everything were such fun so if you're after a boat or perhaps you're after something a little bit different that you've not tried a bit like me this time uh, then yeah definitely one of these i don't think you could go far wrong with mm -hmm.